the week of Black and Empty, uh, we're here, our, we're final here, our final week, week for, for a lot of, a lot of us here on the stage. This, this is the last time we're going to be recording, so we're kind of doing, so kind of doing uh, uh, not memorandum, uh, that's like the end of the year. End of the year, end of the year, what to think about, what to think about, what to think about, and I think that we've done so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so, uh, so we're going to start. Like, where's 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 Hopefully, Black India is a good place to a good place to some kind of entertainment, some kind of entertainment. We had moments that we made it work. We made it work. Yeah, what about you, Kate? Yeah, what about you, Kate?
a lot of like like the pump banking. Sometimes determine if they want to be just college friends or if they want to be friends that are going to last for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. um, you know, seasonal. Seasonal is cool. I mean, you, you learn lessons, but at the end of the day, I mean, you want to make sure that you, as you go through life, you have a, a set of group of friends that push you, uh, that encourage, that challenge you just to be better. Um, I mean, if you don't have friends like that that are going to push you, then there's some shits. There's some shits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, but no name, well, we've we, we seen no name sort of like go through this whole evolution since, you know, 2020, whatever, but it's, it's still evolving, or if it's even evolving. Um, um, but, but if there is one thing, thing, thing you could change, change about the little thing, thing, what, what would it be? What one thing, thing that I really list, list. Mm -hmm. maybe one thing you would change. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is true. It's, it's 70% white. Uh, so not even more black, black people, just more diversity. Just, yeah. That is another one of the ways of white people. 70% is an attack on minorities. I get it. 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 Mm. I, I was, was lucky, lucky enough to, to uh, be sitting, sitting in on a conference, conference where I was working today, today. And, and, and this, this woman, woman gosh, I, I wish I knew her name so I could cite her, her, her and not just plagiarize her idea. I think it was Beth Zansky, she's a former therapist um, and researcher, and she proposed something that she called the 80-20 rule. So if, for example, Notre Dame is 70%, 80% white, um, <clears throat> then she proposed that in order to revolutionize our uh, community spaces, that we need to gear our community spaces towards the 20% instead of towards the 80%. Because in reality, like, like you can, you can see, see how the rest of the majority, majority population adapts, adapts to it, and it, and it really, really won't be most likely, likely in any anything insane. insane. It'll, It'll actually, actually be a more welcoming space. space. And obviously, and obviously she, she had like, like more concrete, concrete examples, examples of how that, how that would work, work such, such as, for example, the, 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 um, the, the things, things on the sidewalk that, that, that like, like ramp down, down onto, onto the street. Maybe for 
wheelchair, wheelchair accessibility, accessibility. Mm -hmm. but, but everyone, everyone uses, uses those. those. And it's and not, not inconvenient to anyone at all. In fact, it's actually it's helpful, helpful when, when um, she was saying, saying the, the, the snow plows, plows um, um, will snow plow up that, that space, but not, but not any, any other spaces, spaces on the sidewalk. Yeah, so she was, she, it really changed how I was thinking about that because she was just saying that we need to start gearing up our spaces towards the quote unquote, quote unquote minority, minority population, population whatever, whatever that is, is. Um, mm -hmm. be that yeah, disabilities, disabilities or, or whatever. whatever. So, so yeah, yeah, I like that, that idea, idea just because I really, I really do feel like Notre Dame is geared towards, towards that 7% that 7 mm -hmm. of, of white, white people, people from, from a certain, certain demographic, economically, and religiously, and gender, and sexuality, all of it. All of it. Yeah. 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 Yeah
2015, um, master's to a doctor, uh, doctoral student, I can say most of my, some of my colleagues recently that I actually felt that I, I liked my department for the first time this year. There were people in my department that I actually spent time with and enjoyed. Because most times, like, I'm a homebody. Like, once I see y'all throughout the day, I'm, I'm good. Like, I will go home and I'm just fine. Uh, but, like, you know, hanging out, like, when you go to Juan Carlos or seeing some other people, like, Blessing or, you know, Joe, it's just, it was fun. The, the, the camaraderie was so organic. Um, it wasn't scripted. So, Outside of that, you know, I had so many people, people like, you, like you all said before we started before, like, there are so many hats that I wear and like it's more um, on, on campus, campus now that they're all somewhat coming, coming to, you know, stop. stop. Um, it just makes me reflect, reflect like, on, on the people, people who also so they played a large, large part, part in my, in my, my, um, my experience, experience with my professors, professors to, to friends. friends. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, needless, needless to, say, to say, I. I I, I, I enjoy the community that I built, built uh, for myself. Um, myself. Um, I was kind of coming here, I really didn't see a lot, a lot of people that, that I, I would, would engage with. with. So, so I, I, was I was mentioning earlier to, to, uh, to a friend. I, I, I built, built the community around church, church, church folks. folks. I don't even know how much church folks people of uh, my kind of around. around. So I was like, look, I'm going to find my folks because I know that's at home for me. And so I was able to bring in that community to the Notre Dame community. That's what I have the best of the world. And, and from, from that, that you know, I was able to, to, to create, like, like stuff that happened to be created from the concert that did back in 2019, um, to, you know, work with, you know, Kathleen and Battle, to the concert that I've come up this week, to having my second record, live recording in South Bend, uh, to Black ND. Like, this, it, it's so funny, because you never, yeah, I have to, like, stop sometimes to realize what I have done, because I'm always, like, on the go. Um, like, uh, for example, even Africana, the, uh, received the Africana, the Academic Freedom Award last year. You know, a few couple, last week, a couple weeks ago, well, last week, I, re I received the, the Sister Jean Lang's Award, and so I have to, we got some stuff coming up for that. So these people are noticing what's being done on campus, and not to sound arrogant at, at, by any means, but just to recognize that the things that I just do naturally um, are, are worthy of recognition, and I am grateful for that. So, you know, once you go to another spot or another place in my life, I often think about, do we have to start all over again? Like, building another community and finding people who actually who can see us, or can we carry that same legacy with us? But, you know, going to the place you gotta find new friends. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with starting over, but sometimes it can be exhausting, because, you know, finding new friends, you gotta, and I, I'm taking no more friend applications at this point in my life. Because it takes a lot to learn people. people. And it's like, uh, you, gotta you, just, just, you gotta just know what you're willing to pour out. Um, so, so, yeah, that's part of it. I can say that I was definitely missing those things. things. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Chelsea, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say that I think I'm going to miss how close knit everyone is. Like, we can just text in the group chat and see each other. Mm -hmm. I just think that's so cute. That's <laughs> something that Notre Dame has in it. Yeah, so the fact that everybody's willing to help you. Is a nice thing yeah. that I will miss. Yeah. I'll also miss like being, because I'm president of Afro Studio Association. I will really miss that too. Wow. I feel like the people I met here through like ASA per se, I will miss them. It was like a cute little family. Yeah. 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 I feel it. I feel it. Anybody else? <laughs> 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 I, uh, I think I'm. I think especially senior year, I, I came into a lot of relationships that I did not decide to find a room. And I think that, like, like it's tricky for me to parse out what is your graduation goals right now and then what is, like, actually genuinely, like, wow, this, like, is this just, I think it's just a product of being a senior that that circle's kind of crossed and then you end up being friends with people who you might not have been friends with. But, um, but that's just been awesome. And it's something that I, for too long here, I wrote in the institution office, like, so rigid, and, and it is in many ways, mm -hmm. but um, but there are ways to, to break through from that, and that's been really awesome. So I'll miss that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Is it Um. That I honestly don't think so. 
To give you the green light. Um, and if they do great, if they don't, and you know in your heart that it needs to be done, you gather resources. And if you have one of those resources, do it on your own until someone finds that what you are selling is worth investing in. Um, yeah, and so um, in doing that, you know, I was able to put together a team of people. I uh, met Jeremy at, uh, we were on the field singing. Uh, and I was like, hey, you look show? He was like, yeah, sure. I thought, okay, cool. I was like, yeah, I have one new wife, I'm out there, but <laughs> he's been with me ever since. Um, and you know, the case responded to an email, or Irv responded to an email, Dee responded. Uh, I reached out to Dee, I think, because Dr. Um, McCarran. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I. She was trying to get us, she just kept going. She was not playing. I know, I know, I know. Uh, and Chelsea, you know, as well as so like, you, you jumping on board too. So I, I thank you all for showing that I don't have to do it by myself. That's, that, that means a lot. Because uh, growing up, you know, it was hard for me to communicate my vision to people. Um, but, but when I was able to do it, we all, we all helped uh, to carry out those positions. So it's just as much my vision as yours. So, so thank, thank you. you. At the CCB. No, I will be. I will be. I
I was so enthralled with the reverse and the and there was just like kindness. And then I was like, you know what, like, yeah, this is something I want to put some time into. And so that, I don't know, I just wanted to say thank you for, for being so, you know, open to kind of like bring me on. It was awesome. Like, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't feel like this was a good <laughs> We were in the music festival together. Like, yeah. it was, um, it was, <laughs> What group were you, you performing with? The Voice of the Moon. The Voice of the Moon, okay. And I was with my half-man group. And I just saw, we were like after we all performed, which is going to be a good choice. It was like it a week after, after the, all, all, you found out all, all black ones. Or all, all black ones. And then Sam was on. And my good friend said, Sam was on. I saw Sam. That's what you're going to have to do. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I guess we'll be out here. Let's take one picture. Yeah. Add to the page. Oh.